Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and we will continue the event at selection screen on value request for the field of the selection screen or input screen. And in the previous video, we finished with the full logic part we passed the various things to this function module. This function module is helping us to assign the F for help, or we can say value help or search help. Now we will understand the full, full output in the debugging mode for the payment mode. So I will put a breakpoint here. On this, I will put the breakpoint on the first statement of add selection screen on value request for payment. I'm doing F8. Now I will go to payment mode. Whenever I will click on to this button or whenever I will do F4, you all know very, very well now on the selection screen you are going for value request for which particular field payment mode. Now this particular event is triggering and I'm or the breakpoint automatically stopped as a part of this event. Now this is our internal table which has zero records as of now. Now first record is going to work area. If you see the work area, what will be the first record in the work area? C and credit card payment. This record we are inserting to internal table. We have first record in the internal table. C credit card payment. Now we are clearing the work area. You can see the work area is cleared now. Now we are passing second record to work area. This is our second record, D debit card payment. Now you can see second record to internal table. We have two records in the internal table. Now we have the third record in the work area. You can see third record in the work area. Now third record to the internal table. So we have these three records to, to, to have these three records in this internal table. Now these three records we need to assign to which particular field of the selection screen payment mode. So we gave the various values. We gave the field, but we will give the field name what time to field what s underscore pm hyphen low. We are returning which value payment mode we want to return this value only whenever we will select and we pass this internal table. This internal table has how many records? This internal table has three records. Now I will simply simply do F8. Now I will show you. You can see is this our is this our own search help for F4 help? Yes. If you see previously the search help was C, credit card, D, debit card, and net banking. Now it is our own search help. C, credit card payment, D, debit card payment, and net banking payment. If I will select any of the record, so which value I want to return? I want to return the value of first column. So I will select. You can see C is there. So this is the way how you can write a logic to assign your own F4 help or value help. Now, same way we will go for payment, same way we will go for suppose currency also. Now, whenever user will click on to this F4 button, suppose we require two things, INR, Indian rupees, USD, United dollars. Suppose we require these 
two things in the search help. As of now, nothing is in the search help because there is no value help available. There is no F4. There is no values available in the F4. So we'll go for same to same thing. Now, you all know INR, Indian rupees, USD, United dollars. We want to insert how many record? Two record. How many columns are there? Two columns. If you require two columns, or uh, it means if you require two columns, it means firstly we need to create an internal table of two columns. If we require an internal table of two columns, it means we need to create a structure of two columns. So we will just in this particular scenario, maximum we will copy paste. So I will just make a copy. Suppose here I will write LTY underscore curl. Suppose this is curl. I will pass that data element of the currency. This is the data element of the currency. And we are preparing a new search. Description, okay. We will take same to same thing. Now I will declare internal table and file area. We are preparing a new value help or F4 help for now currency. I'm writing CUR. 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 Now, whenever you will click on to F4 button of currency, which particular event will call add selection screen on value request for currency hyphen new. We'll simply do the copy paste. Firstly, suppose we will copy these two. Now, what is our work area for the currency? CUR. CUR. What is first column? Currency. And it will be your INR. Okay, we'll give LWACUR, CUR, CUR, CUR. Suppose INR stands for Indian rupees. We'll create text element, text symbol, sorry. We'll copy, we'll paste. This will be our USD. Suppose we are going for only two values in the F4 help or value help. USD stands for United States dollars. Now we will create text symbols. Up to 10 it is created. So we will go for text hyphen 011. We'll double click create. This is our Indian rupees. Activate. Now we will go for text hyphen zero one. Same way we did for payment mode. We create this text symbol. This is our United States dollars. I'll increase the length.
एक्टेड स्टेट्स now our two values are in this internal table now we will go i'll copy this function module because same function module will be used now and we will do the respective changes now now we do not have payment mode what is the returning field now c u r the c what is the returning field which value you want to return inr or usd so what is the column you took cur this is same this is same now this is our s underscore cur s underscore cur hyphen load yes because we want to assign to currency now rather than pm we have lt underscore cur i check the syntax and okay this is lt by underscore cur just verify everything is correct or not yes we assign inr usd in this internal table two records we pass this to these two things to this function module cur is the returning field the system variable say everything is correct i'm running i'll just take this whenever i will click on to this button which event will call add selection screen on value request for currency currency now i will see you can see our values are coming whenever i will select this which particular column it will return cur we will pass the returned column that's why that's why it is taking inr so this is very very important is yes, which column we are returning so what is the summary of the video in this video we understood full full in the debugging mode how our help how our values we are passing to this for sap function module and how this function module is assigning the f for help or value help or search help to our selection screen fields yes and most most important event and you can easily easily understand the importance now in the first case previously uh, the search help is coming through the domain itself now rather than that search help we want our own f4 help so yes we did that part also now for currency there is no f4 there so we did that part also so you can use this event at selection screen on value request to assign the search help to assign the f4 help to various selection screen fields or we can say various input screen fields so that's it in this particular video thank you